ever get me, and I would be <laughs> bored and just continuously. And next thing I know, I'd be a sixty-year-old grandpa. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be my life. Oh God! I I, I curse selections. Uh, we we actually were at a restaurant not too long ago where they gave us what seventy-two choices of beer. At and I least looked at, I looked at it, slammed my fist down, and whatever I. I, my fist was landing on is what I chose. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, hey, you know, God bless craft beer, I'm telling you. Yes, God bless craft beer. Um, and chapters. And cha- <laughs> Which, uh, if you guys don't know, I mean, it's kind of like a Barnes & Castle up here in Canada. Right, they don't have chapters in the, the States. No, they have Barnes & Castle. Oh, pity your souls. Which is pretty much, I've been to a Barnes & Castle, it's just like chapters. But chapters Or so have... for you people in America, chapters is just like Barnes & Castle, there's really but no difference. Chapters has Starbucks, and Starbucks is golden. <laughs> you would just go anywhere, you would go... No, 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 you would pretty much go anywhere for a Starbucks. I would go anywhere for a Starbucks. I don't like Second Cup because every time I go to Second Cup, I ask for a Second Cup and they don't give me a Second Cup. So it is false advertising. <laughs> um, yes. Oh, my God. I love rabbit holes. This is ridiculous. Oh, yes. You know what? I mean, hey, a show where we pay the, a little tribute to Alan Rickman. And it, you know, it makes sense that we're going down the rabbit hole Absolutely. a little bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love rabbit holes. You know, some of the most entertaining conversations that we have had on this show is due to a rabbit hole that never stops going. Honestly, um, I think we should just go off and have one episode completely unscripted with no idea what we're going to talk about and just go down the rabbit hole and just see where we go and drag all of you with us. I hate to alarm you, but I never come on with a script. I never follow you know, the, the script that you lay out for us. I'm always my own rabbit, and I always fall down the wrong damn hole. Yeah, this kind of sucks, man. I'm telling you. I need to get a new partner. Yes, you do. No, you don't. <laughs> I, I'm... So, you know, like, definitely a very, you know, I love this time of year. It sucks because, you know, The Walking Dead's not on. Gotham's not on. Um, Game of Thrones isn't on. Which, Game of Thrones is a whole different genre. Oh. It's at a genre least, unto itself. Okay, at least Terry Brooks came up with books, you know, more than once every six billion years. To the guy who created and wrote, you know, Game of Thrones, I curse thee. Yeah, because, well... The show now has to go unscripted, or completely off a book, because the guy, once again, has missed a deadline for the umpteenth time. You know, consider this, I mean, it's taken them something like 20 years just to get this far, you know, and who knows if he's even going to live long enough to, you know, make it through, you know, the second one. No, I, I, I or don't... The, I think he was, he's planning to do, I think it's seven books for this, and he's currently working on book six. Yes, uh, I do not believe he, uh, you know, will finish it. He has always had an issue with timeline and finishing things on time, which really sucks because he has put out one of the most, you know, phenomenal books that I have, you know, read other than Terry Brooks or, you know, The Lord of the Rings. Or the but, Rings. you know, um, or Harry Potter. Wow. Wow. No, Congratulations, no. you're a reader. The movie was better than, you know, okay. No, it's <laughs> that, that rarely ever happens. It did with Harry Potter. I liked it because y- you could see the attitude and the, you know, and everything come out. And this is a phenomenal rabbit hole. This is um, absolutely phenomenal. And I found you, gophers. I, I want to go off, I want to talk about, uh, you know, speaking a little bit of Terry Brooks and dragging us a little deeper in to the rabbit hole. Uh, he actually wrote the a novelization for Star Wars, uh, the uh, Phantom Menace, and I can honestly say that was better. You know, his his novelization of the Phantom Menace was better than the movie, much like R A R R R R R A A. Oh God, I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, Salvatore, R A Salvatore. Uh, he was probably better, best known for writing for the Forgotten Realms series. He did the novelization for uh, Attack of the Clones, and which was like ten times better than the movie, which is not saying a lot. But if, for all you guys who are RA Salvatore fans, you completely know what I'm talking about. The guy's just an epic writer. Yes. 
Writers are the backbone to movies and TV shows and characters and you have no word where you're going with this. Do I you? do not know. Um, no, it, it's just it, it amazes me how many times where we've seen, uh, you know, movies that or TV shows that are based off of books and have completely missed the ball. Um, you know, I can you know off the top of my head, Aragon. Uh, if you guys uh, you know read the books, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, how badly the movie went off, in you know messed up, you know, what was an epic series. You're looking at me weird because you have no idea what I'm talking about. No, 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 I do. Um, I, I, I have to point out something. Uh, recently I had a, a friend of mine refuse to acknowledge my criticism of a certain movie that we will not mention. Um... Really? After watching the movie, he realized I was not a dumbass, and that I knew what I was talking about, and that the certain movie that shall remain nameless was the worst debacle to hit Hollywood since Hollywood. Yeah, we won't talk about that movie anymore, nor mention its name. If you guys, it is no- Lord Voldemort. Of- he who should not be named. Well. Now you've done it. Now we're going to have Death Eaters, you know, chasing us down, coming in here. How dare you, man? How want, dare you? I want Death Eaters to, to chase me. I need the exercise. <laughs> feel like a gerbil in a ball. I don't. Gerbil in a ball. That's all I got to say. <laughs> uh, That'd be the quickest way for this just to be the Captain Fish show. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to out, outrun them. I just have to outrun you. <laughs> it's not say the whole lot. My God. Ah, uh, um, yeah, no. So you know, this has been a very entertaining show. <laughs> um, it started off very morbid oh, and God. sad and mellow, and then... it started to get a little bit morbid again. Oh my God! But Nothing anyways, about Death Eaters is morbid. I don't know, but again, uh, big week. Uh, I like I said before, I'm really looking forward to season two of Agent Carter. I think Agent Carter is actually better than Agents of Shield. No, I'm not going to bite my tongue on this for those people who don't agree with me. It is. It's really good. Uh, Asia's Shield is getting better. I have some theories, and I've heard some theories about um, of some of the characters from Agents of Shield. I heard they're actually going to do another spinoff of that, which is pretty good. Um, there's also some stuff about Warren that I think is... Uh, there's some ideas as to who he is, new character supposed to be. But anyway, I, I I have to point out that you know we had a theory on our last show that Snope was Darth Maul. Well, during uh, you know the reveal for season two of Star Wars Rebels, there is a hooded character revealed, and if you zoom in, it is Darth Maul. Yeah. So. so you know, it is very big that they are including Darth Maul. They're refusing to let this Darth Maul go. So it, it, I believe it is only hinting that Snope is Darth Maul, not Jar Jar Binks. Uh, I, I think there's a safer bet that he would be Maul, not Binks. Uh, or you know, maybe he just won't be anyone that we know of. That might actually be more interesting. Um, I agree. Um I love Maul. I hated the fact that he had like five minutes of fame and gone. And I have, but this opens up a big door. If Darth Maul can go through all that and live, Han Solo is still alive. But Han Solo doesn't have the Force. You don't know that. He would have used it by now. I don't care. Oh my God! And there's a. A rumor that uh, Darth Vader is going to be in uh, Rogue One. Damn it! And that James Earl Jones will return to be Darth Vader's voice in Rogue One. Well, now we're all screwed. Um, (laughs) So yeah, if you heard our last show, which if you haven't, you know, go back, click the little linky thing, uh, click listen... (laughs) Listen to it. <laughs> the linky thing. The linky thing. Oh, my lanta. I'm not a words uh, magician here. Yeah, but no kidding. Listen to it. We had a lot of theories, uh, you know, of who Snoke could be. Um, Darth Maul, Jar Jar Binks, R2-D2, Darth Vader. 
Um, <laughs> Emperor Palpatine. Many, many names that, you know, Snoke could possibly be. You know, you can also message us. You know, we have our emails. Uh, my personal email that I will respond to when my fingers realize that they know what the hell they're doing is CaptainFizz at FizzMashShow.com. And mine, which is just added yesterday, but it's not actually on the website, is the mask guy at fizzmashshow.com. Yes, uh, just set up last night because apparently my fingers still don't know what they're doing. But that's, there, that's there's, okay. There's a reason why I, you know, I finally got around to getting my email uh, set up. Uh, maybe we'll discuss it at some other time. But you know what, guys? Thanks for listening. Uh, you know, you of course you can go off and you can follow us on Twitter. You can follow my compatriot here at real c a p t fizz. So at real captain fizz. You can follow this local fellow at fizz. At uh, I don't know. I'm done. At that mask guy. You can follow the show at fizz mask show. Go check out our website www.fizzmashshow.com. Dot com. And uh, on there, you'll find links to our Twitter accounts as well as our Facebook account. Uh, look us up on YouTube. Uh, just type in Captain Fizz and Mask Guy Show. Several of our episodes uh, over the you know nine months that we've been on air are... Is, is it even nine months? I think it's less than that. I don't know. It's been at least six months. We haven't conceived a child yet. <laughs> but... Uh, a lot of it is on there. Uh, you may just try to find our, our site as uh, mo- many of the episodes have actually are in playlists. So you actually go will... on the website and click click the linky things. The linky things, yes. On the the site itself, uh, I believe there is thirty the first thirty three episodes of the show. There there could be more. My computer has malfunctioned and it kind of sucks. Which two you... o'clock in the morning fingers should not be typing. Uh, I completely agree, but you know what? I mean, I would still blame it on the monkeys. Yes, the monkeys decided to up and leave me because I didn't have enough smokes for them. Ah, <laughs> uh, stupid monkeys. <laughs> yeah, I would... Uh, if you guys they know primates work for free? <laughs> <laughs> you ran out of bananas and energy drinks, didn't you? I ran out of bananas and energy <laughs> drinks. Uh, oh, my Atlanta. Yes. Okay. Don't forget, you know... To visit the website, check us on Twitter. We're usually twitting. <laughs> well, you're just a twit. I am a twit on Twitter. <laughs> um, uh, oh my yes. god! And of course, our emails once again: Captain Fizz at fizzmashshow dot com. And of course, uh, <laughs> the mask guy at fizzmashshow dot com. Uh, okay, who went off and gave me the mask guy? I'm that mask guy. I told you, monkeys quit. <laughs> ran out of energy drinks. No bananas. <laughs> two o'clock in the morning. Anyways, guys, bad combo. Bad combo. Uh, thank you for listening in tonight. Really appreciate it. Happy uh, birthday, the mask guy. Thank you very much. Uh, so you know what, guys. Um, it's been a great show. It's been a weird show. It's been a bizarre show. Bizarro. So, but, so in, in the meantime, and in between time, I say good night, God bless, and may the force be with you. And stay frosty, everybody. Good, good night. night. <laughs>